Hello everyone, I'm Cheng Xing from University of Michigan. Today I present a project on detecting gene ontology misannotations using taxon-specific ray ratio analysis. Many of us use protein functions recorded in public databases such as Unipro. For example, after a next-generation sequencing experiment, we use goal annotation of sequence strings to perform function enrichment. We also study the annotated function for planning low throughput experiments. Despite the importance of protein function annotation, not all of them are experimentally validated, and many of them could contain errors. In this project, we try to find these incorrect annotations and understand where they come from. Protein function annotation is a big challenge. The standard protein database, UniPro, now holds approximately 180 million protein sequences. And the number has kept increasing exponentially as shown in the black curve. Meanwhile, SwissPro, the subset of UniPro proteins with manual function annotations, only holds 560,000 sequences, as shown in the gray curve. This means that more than 99% of proteins are never experimentally characterized or manually annotated, and probably never will. What that means is that more than 99% of protein function annotations in UniPro on the left have the evidence code IEA in black. IEA, or infer from electronic annotations, means the gene ontology term, or a goal term for short, are computationally and automatically predicted without manual review. On the right-hand side, we show that model organisms such as human, mouse, or E. coli have more manual review, but still, there are 54% IEA goal terms in black, 16% manually review computational predictions in gray, such as IBA goal terms. The remaining 25% are from experimental literature in white, such heavy use of computational predictions in protein function database inevitably leads to many misannotations. Meanwhile, many high throughput analysis really needs these goal annotations. It will not help us understand the biological problem if analysis on a human dataset pulls out a lot of unrelated functions such as cell wall. By the way, there are proteins misannotated as cell wall in animal. For example, human JUP is a well-characterized protein, and its PDB structure is shown in lower right. For some reason, UniPro uh, used to annotate this protein as a structural constitute of cell wall at upper left. Similarly, the next pro database, which is the subset of UniPro specific for human, also makes the same misannotation. We track the experimental paper used to derive this function annotation and found that the paper only says this protein is involved in the formation of a protein complex on the outer surface of the cell. Somehow, the curator assigning the function incorrectly assumed this complex is in the cell wall, resulting in this misannotation. Since even well-studied proteins could also contain error, we decide to develop our own method to find out these errors. Our way to detect misannotations work as follows. First, we classify proteins based on their texture. 
In this example, we classify proteins into four taxa in four columns, animals, bacteria, fungi, and plants. We can also have finer grain taxon classifications. For each protein function in each row, we count the portion of proteins in, the, in each taxon annotated to the function, which is shown as the area of the rectangle. We ignore the functions if they are annotated to about the same amount of proteins in all taxa. We also ignore the function if they are annotated to only one taxon. Instead, we only pay attention to functions that are very common in a taxon but rare in another. For example, mitochondria is common for animals, fungi, and plants, but is very rare for bacteria. For a function Q, its annotation rate in taxon T is PTQ, calculated as the number of proteins annotated with Q in this taxon divided by all proteins in the taxon. The rate ratio of function Q across all taxa is the smallest annotation rate divided by the largest annotation rate across different taxa. The smaller this ratio is, the larger is the difference in annotation rate for this function in different taxa and the more likely this function may be misannotated to the rare annotated to a rarely annotated taxon. As a pilot study, we picked 20 model organisms, including 5 animals, 7 bacteria, 3 archaea, 3 fungi, and 2 plants, to apply our rate ratio analysis to flag potential misannotations. After manually checking the flag annotations, we confirm around 200 potential misannotations for each Unipro Go annotation release. 200 misannotations does not sound a lot, but remember that this is only for well-studied model organisms such as human, mouse, and E. coli. So the actual amount of misannotations for other less studied organisms is much larger as will be shown later. For the 20 model organisms we pick, 54% of goal term annotation are IEA terms from fully automated prediction, while only 16% are from manually curated computational predictions such as IPA terms. However, for the subset of misannotated goal terms, vast majority are goal terms with evidence called IBA or inferred from biological ancestor. IBA goal terms are semi-manual computational function prediction using phylogenetic tree. To understand why IBA terms are so easily misannotated, we check some example. Uracil DNA glycosylase, or UDG, is a well, very well studied enzyme for repairing DNA of the cell. In bacillus, this protein has cell structure on the right. Despite being so well characterized, its unipro protein on upper left incorrectly assigned the function mitochondria and nucleus, both of which does not exist for bacillus bacteria. Similarly, uh, in lower left, in B sub psych, a database specific for bacillus genome also incorrectly annotate this protein as nucleus and mitochondria. The Unipro annotation on upper left has the IBA code. To, underst to understand how 
IBA goal terms are incorrectly annotated, we need to understand how IBA terms are derived. IBA goal terms are inferred from phylogenetic tree for a protein family. As shown in the toy example on the right, here, gray squares are proteins in this family with the same function that are experimentally characterized. White squares are proteins whose function we want to annotate. Circles are inferred biological ancestors from phylogenetic reconstruction. Since circle 2 is the most recent common ancestor of square 4 and 6 with the same known function, this IBA protocol will assume the subbranch starting from circle 2 will have the function shared by square 4 and 6. In the end, uh, square 5 will be assigned the same function as 4 and 6, but square 7 will still be unannotated. Now, in our case of UDG protein family, the phylogenetic tree includes two main branches. The first branch on the top consists solely of eukaryotes such as animals, fungi, and plants. The second branch below are mostly bacteria, including our bacillus protein in dash box. However, this big branch also groups this bacteria with a small branch of plants. Since both this plant branch and the eukaryotic branch on the top have the nucleus and mitochondrial goal terms, these goal terms are propagated to the root term of the whole tree, and thus all proteins are thought to have nucleus and mitochondrial goal terms. Such computational goal terms from phylogenetic analysis with minimum experimental review is the major portion of misannotations we identify in this study. As an additional census of the quality of IBA versus other types of goal terms, we collect 10,523 goal annotations from 2018 that are either rejected or confirmed experimentally in 2019. Among these annotations are 1,554 IBA terms, 31% of which are rejected in 2019. This is an estimated error rate six times greater than fully automated annotated IEA terms and 30 times greater than any other types of goal annotation. We have reported our findings to Unipro, the Go Consortium, and Nextpro. Hopefully, they will address these issues in very near future. In conclusion, we develop a semi-automated approach to detect misannotated functions. 250 and 190 potential misannotations were found in Unipro 2018 and 2019 for 20 well-studied model organisms. 53% of these misannotations are in Unipro for more than one year. Misannotations have spread into secondary databases such as EcoSci, BSubSci, and XPro. 66% of misannotations are of IBA evidence, which are manual function annotation inferred by phylogenetic tree-based computational prediction. I will want to emphasize that what we find is the tip of the iceberg. For example, the nucleus and mitochondrion term have in total 453 misannotations in all prokaryotes and virus versus uh, only 24 detected in the 20 species we focus on in this study.
With that, I would like to thank my lab mates and mentors, especially my wife and collaborator Xiao Qiu, who manually went through thousands of misannotations for this project. Thank you.